Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is what? What is it? <laughs> he doesn't know either. It's November 14th, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Today's devotional is called The Gifts of Healing. To another gifts of healings by the same spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, 9. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be in? Psalm 65. Psalm 65. Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Mm. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house even of thy holy temple. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are afar off upon the sea, which by his strength set us fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visiteth the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou set, settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Mm. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered with over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. Love the songs. I do too. Now I will deal with the gift itself. It is actually gifts of healing, not the gift of healing. Gifts of healing can deal with every case of sickness, every disease that there is. These gifts are so full that they are beyond human expression, but you come into the fullness of them as the light brings revelation to you. I have people continually coming to me and saying, when you are preaching, I see a halo around you. Or, when you are preaching, I have seen angels standing around you. I hear these things from time to time, and I am thankful that people have such spiritual vision. I do not have that kind of vision. However, I have the express glory, the glory of the Lord covering me, the intense inner working of his power, until every time I have stood before you, I have known that I have not had to choose the words I have spoken. The language has been chosen, the thoughts have been chosen, and I have been speaking in prophecy more than in any other way. So I know that we have been in the school of the Holy Spirit in a great way. The only vision I have had in the divine healing meeting is this. So often when I have laid hands upon the people, I have seen two hands go before my hands. This has happened many, many times. The person who has the gifts of healing does not look to see what is happening. You will notice that after I have finished ministering, many things are manifested, but they don't move me. I am not moved by anything I see. The divine gifts of healing are so profound in the person who has them that there is no such thing as doubt, and there could not be. Whatever happens could not change the person's opinion or thought or act. He expects the very thing that God intends him to have as he lays hands upon the seeker. Mm. Wherever I go, the manifestation of divine healing is considerably greater after I leave than when I am there. Why? It is God's plan for me. God has great grace over me. Wonderful things have been accomplished, and people have told me what happened when I was there. But these things were hidden from me. God has a reason why he hides things from me. When I lay hands upon people for a specific thing, I tell you that thing will take place. 
I believe it will be so, and I never turned my ears or my eyes from that fact. It has to be so. The gifts of divine healing are more than audacity. They are more than an unction. Those are two big things. However, the gifts of healing are the solid fact of a divine nature within the person, pressing forward the very nature and activity of the Lord, as if he were there. We are in this place to glorify the Father, and the Father will be glorified in the Son, since we are not afraid of taking action in this day. The gifts of healing are a fact. They are a production. They are a faith. They are an unwavering trust. They are a confidence. They are a reliability. People sometimes come to me very troubled. They say, I had the gifts of healing once, but something has happened and I do not have them now. They never had them. The gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Romans 11:29, And they remain under every circumstance except this. If you fall from grace and use a gift, it will work against you. If you use tongues out of the will of God, interpretation will condemn you. If you have been used and the gift has been exercised and then you have fallen from your high place, it will work against you. Thought for today, if you are without condemnation, you are in a place where you can pray through. There's a lot of meat on the bone on that one. <laughs> there is a lot in there. And I read it right through. So you might have to marinate on Smith's words. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow.